Hello everybody, Maven here, and today I bring you the harsh reality that if you play Destiny 2 solo, you should not use a rocket launcher. You are wasting out on a lot of potential damage if you do. And I'm gonna bring you some factual evidence via Pharisia DPS testing to prove my point. So think about it this way. Rocket launchers are the DPS meta because somebody in your fire team is using galley. So they're giving you the wolf pack rounds. That's where a lot of your damage is coming from. If you play solo or you do a match made activity where you can't rely on some random blueberry to have Gallarhorn on, then you won't have wolf pack rounds and you're wasting out on a lot of potential damage. So the way that I came up with the idea for this video is that I was using a Wendigo and I was like, bro, this is doing so much damage. This has to be way more damage than a rocket launcher. And so I took it to Ferizia and tested it out. And I'm gonna show you the results. So don't forget to drop a like and I hope you enjoy. So we have four different things we're gonna be testing against Ferizia today, but we're just gonna start right off with the rocket launcher to set that bar for the rest of our options to follow. So of course we're using none other than the most meta launcher in the game right now, the Apex Predator with reconstruction and bait and switch. We're pairing that along with the Wither Horde and a Cartesian coordinate with Vorpal. And as for our subclass, we're just using a Well of Radiance. We're not using any Surge mods, any Reserves, or anything like that. Literally just the base damage with the Well of Radiance. So let's go. So the bait and switch Apex Predator is set in the bar at 1.4 million. It's pretty solid, but now let's move on to our Wendigo and see how it compares. So the Wendigo roll I'm using is auto loading holster and explosive light. And as you know, when explosive light is procced, your GL does 50% more damage. And we will have that proc for our first six shots. So all in all, it kind of equates to like three free shots if you think about it. So the Wendigo sets a new bar at 1.7 million, easily trumping the bait and switch Apex Predator. And you also have to think about this, that it's more ammo efficient. When you're running through solo content, you may come across enemies that will get overkilled by a rocket. So with the GL, you can just shoot one or two shots to take them out and conserve more ammo that way. And also keep in mind that most of your damage from the Apex Predator is coming from the bait and switch perk. So you're only really gonna proc that perk against boss tier enemies. So if you come across a champion or just a major in general, you're probably not gonna proc bait and switch so you're losing out some damage there. But with the Wendigo, explosive light is almost always gonna be propped. So you're gonna have it up, it's gonna be more useful in more situations. But anyways, we are moving on to our next option that is gonna be the Anarchy because you know, it's a GL and GL's got that big buff with the release of Lightfall, so I was curious how it would compare. So we get 1.2 million damage, not quite the DPS of the Apex Predator, but actually pretty dang close for what it is. Because what Anarchy is really for is total damage output. For longer DPS phases, you get better sustained damage this way. Because if you notice at the end of that DPS phase, I still had a lot of Anarchy ammo left over. So the total damage output is astronomically higher than everything we're testing today. So that is where it shines and that's what Anarchy is for. But now moving on to the last option of the day, this is the Leviathan's Breath. It received a big buff last season and also a big buff the season before that. So it's been crazy meta recently. Everyone's been using it and people have been using it to solo the new dungeon. Anyways, let's see how it does.
So we ended up with 1.5 million, but I did miss a couple crits. We could have easily been over 1.6 million. And you have to remember, this is just Leviathan's Breath alone, because with the Apex Predator, we use the Wither Horde and the Cartesian, and with the Wendigo, we use the Wither Horde and Cartesian. With Leviathan's Breath, it was just the Leviathan's Breath. So that's very impressive for just being a standalone DPS weapon. And also, since they buffed its reserves, it is very ammo efficient. It puts out so much damage for scavenging one heavy brick. And the great thing about the Leviathan's Breath and the Anarchy is that they require no setup. They're very user-friendly, very plug-and-play weapons. You just pull them out and use them, and they do their thing, and they do it well. You know, with the Wendigo and the Apex, they require setup. Uh, for the Wendigo, you have to proc Explosive Light, which is not too tough to do because a lot of builds these days can make a ton of orbs of power. And with the Apex Predator, you have to proc Bait and Switch. And if I were to use any weapon we tested today, personally, I'd use the Wendigo because it doesn't take up an exotic slot. That gives you a lot more flexibility for your loadout. So you can use the Wither Horde, which is just an amazing weapon to have at all times in Destiny 2. There's also the Arbalest if you need to deal with barrier champions. So you have more options there. But all these options today do fulfill their own needs and you can use either one of them for the appropriate situation. And that concludes my reasoning on why you should use a different option rather than a rocket launcher when playing solo. So hopefully this has helped out. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and drop a comment because interacting with the video in different types of ways like that really helps it out and helps the algorithm. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. Feel free to share the video with a friend. I'm sure this information would help them out if they play solo as well. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.